morning. It is uh, 6.45 a.m. and I am headed into the park. Um, I somehow managed to time it perfectly to be by, behind this huge oversized load and these trucks with all these flashing yellow lights. It's very annoying. I'm really hoping that um, they maybe turn off or something. We'll see. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Okay, they let a bunch of us by before they went in through the gate. Thank goodness. <laughs> so I did things a little bit differently this time. If you know me at all, if, you, if you've ever traveled with me, if you've watched any videos, you probably get the idea that I don't really plan stuff. <laughs> um, I like to just kind of take things as they come and make decisions on the fly. That's like my favorite way to move through the world for the most part. Um, but since I've done Yellowstone a few times before, um, I decided to stop by the ranger station uh, yesterday evening when I got into West Yellowstone, less popular. And he basically told me that Yellowstone is considered like an auto tour park and most people don't do a lot of the hikes anyway, which kind of makes sense. But yeah, I decided to go ahead and plan out um, which hikes I was going to do for today and tomorrow and even a couple options for the next day as I'm going out through the Tetons. So we'll see how it goes to follow a plan for once. <laughs> so it's around 40 degrees outside right now and it's funny because it really doesn't feel that bad to me. I think all the mornings up in Canada where it was like 20 degrees waking up and trying to get out of the tent and stuff um, or get out of the car felt much colder so I'm pretty happy with the temperature. I think it's gonna be a beautiful day. Parking lot breakfast as per usual. The crack got significantly larger in the last 24 hours. I'm actually pretty sore today and like my ankles and my calves and stuff I think I made the mistake of not moving around enough yesterday. I tried to go on like a few little walks, but I spent a lot of time just sitting in the car driving and so I think I got really stiff, which is unfortunate, but hopefully um, I'm doing like an easier hike first and then Purple Mountain a little bit later. So hopefully I'll be warmed up and good to go by then. I think one of the cool things about visiting Yellowstone in cooler times of year or just early in the morning is when you see areas that you might not normally notice that have steam coming out.
was just a little bit sunnier and without such a breeze, I would totally go swimming here. I just put my hand in the water and it's like definitely not cold. <laughs> Very nice spot. Alright, I'm headed up Purple Mountain. I kind of started feeling out of breath a lot faster than I <laughs> normally do and I remembered that we're at like 7,000 feet of elevation here to start. And in Alaska, my body got pretty used to being at like 2,000 feet, so 5,000 feet is a pretty solid difference, so definitely feeling it a little bit. It's interesting, I'm not used to that. But, um, the storm came and went, the sun's back out, it's beautiful, hopefully it holds out a little bit longer. If you can make it out but um, you can kind of see some clouds from where the geysers are like out there and over there I'm pretty sure that's where I was today so it's pretty neat so I've got this whole damn mountain to myself what the heck <laughs> Good thing that there's like nobody on this trail because I've just spent the last like, I don't know, 20 minutes hiking down this mountain and like talking to my dead friends and my ex and just like letting all the feelings out. And I kind of feel like a crazy person, but I feel like it's helping to voice it. So I don't know. It is so beautifully quiet and peaceful out here. I love it. So. 